Let's find another opponent and see what we can do. Okay, so against a 2056, which is uh, gonna be a challenge, but I'm up for it. And I actually see that if I win, I get 19 rating points, which would me put above the 2000 uh, level. So let's see if we can do that. So far it's all prep. This looks a bit uh, odd, but he's moved to spawn twice as well. And yeah, let's just go for the immediate pin. Don't think the uh, move order really matters here. And we're just having a game. Probably gonna be a bit of a slow game, but let's see what we can do. Not much going on so far, so it's all right. Yeah, let's just uh, bring the knight out. Yeah, so here, if the spawn is here, I usually like to take the knight. And in this case, I think I still will. Just fighting for the square some uh, some more. Can even go here in the future, although he has possibilities to uh, to expand. So maybe it's better to go here. Just putting some pressure here. He has to do something. Let's just do that. Yeah, so he defends like that. And yeah, let's just bring the bishop out. It's a quiet game so far, not much going on. Okay, that pins my knight. Does it come with any threat? Don't really see it. I think I can just castle. Am I missing something? I don't think so, so let's go for that. <coughs> Maybe this will be annoying for him. Although if he moves his bishop, my knight isn't in a great place either. So I don't know if that does much. And no, it definitely doesn't do so anything. So yeah, let's see. It's probably trying to push, although I don't mind that. And this pawn will be hanging as well. So I think I can just keep improving, connecting my rooks. This is never really a threat. He can just block with the pawn and close everything down. But I'm attacking this pawn, so he has probably trouble moving his, uh, his bishop. Apparently he thinks this is a threat because he moves his king away. Yeah, let's see. I wanted to push this pawn at some point, so I shouldn't should have probably thought about that. Now I also have, always have things like this as well, which kind of look nice now. Although I'm giving him in the light square, so maybe that's not the best idea. So yeah, maybe just still improving. <coughs> still not really scared of this. Okay, so where is he going? That looks like an alright square. That puts pressure on the palm, but yeah, it's defending, so I don't really think that's a problem. So he's probably going there. Don't see anything wrong with that, so let's just keep improving. Now there is some potential for him on this diagonal, so I should be watching out for things like that. And it's a very solid position. White has more space, but yeah, it's uh, the thing when you're playing black. Usually, uh, 
go down a little bit. So he does go there. Why am I scared of him going here? Don't really think so. Can always take if necessary. In fact, if I take that would win upon here, so Yeah, what do I do? Let's just do this so that pawn is never uh, a liability. Yeah, it's difficult to find any plans, but at the same time. I can't see any clear plans for him as well. So if there are any <laughs> and I can't see them, that's bad. But uh, <laughs> let's hope there just are none or at least not very obvious ones. Maybe I have some ideas of moving my queen and then start attacking his queen. Though, don't really know if that helps. Queenside attack isn't really attacking anything. I mean, his king is not around here. It's, yeah. But at the same time, uh, I should definitely not attack on the king side because that's uh, where he is stronger. Okay, so that's interesting actually. I can now close things down and this pawn I feel like is uh, always a problem for him. Of course I do give him this diagonal potentially. He still has a light squared bishop, I don't. But yeah, because he has a bishop pair I definitely shouldn't uh, Shouldn't open things up. So this attacks a pawn now, which is annoying for him. He can maybe defend with a rook. But then at least he can't put the bishop on that diagonal. And he can also defend with the queen maybe. Although that would run into a fork if he goes there. So I think this is an uh, alright move. And maybe he's planning to put his knight here, which is uh, quite a good square. But he can't do it right now because I'm attacking here. Okay, so he goes back with a bishop. Which I guess is a possibility as well. So let's see, what do I do? Always thinking of things like this, but I don't know how much it does. Yeah. Maybe I should just play things slow, bring my bishop back so that my knight can uh, move. He's probably going to put the knight here. So he does. I'm not scared of him going here, that just loses a pawn. So if I move my knight here, he can go there, but then still I can just uh, move my knight again, so yeah, looks alright. I don't know if I want to go there immediately, because he can kick it out, and that's not really a good uh, option. So he kicks out my knight. Which I get because it's annoying. So let's go back. Let's see anything else. Yeah, no, he does go there. Look, I can just bring my rook up. Not much going on. And after I move this knight, I'm attacking his knight. So yeah, he should probably move back then. 
can even go here although then if he moves back what's my knight doing here so maybe going back there is uh, is better just attacking the knight if he moves back that's okay maybe things like this are annoying so this Yeah, he's trying to uh, to push here probably. Yeah, let's just go here. If he goes here, that's fine by me. Maybe he has something like this, but yeah, he just he does go there. So is this still annoying? He can go here. So I don't think that's uh, the right plan. And let's see. He can do that, but after the trade, he can still go here. But that's not good. And if I move my queen, he goes here. I take that pawn is a bit weak. So, yeah, what, what, else, what else do I do? Maybe bringing this knight over. Yeah, let's just try that. And I should be playing quicker, definitely. So, uh, let's go for that. Actually, let's go for queen trade. Probably I can't get more than a draw out of this. I'd like to, but I think that's uh, difficult. At this point, I should just be playing quickly because I'm down on time uh, quite a lot. So I think this would be annoying for him. Though I still don't think... I really want to open things up. I'm just going here first. After this, I might want to take back with the rook because it comes with tempo. Yeah, so he does threaten some stuff with this knight. We like it safe is just to move back. This is defended by the rook. Yeah, and this is uh, gonna get down to a time scramble, I think, because there's still <laughs> many pieces on the board. Only one piece uh, traded off so far. At least he is taking some time now, which is good for me. Yeah, so he starts going on an attack there. But yeah, this just loses a pawn, so I feel like I uh, should be counterattacking on the other side. Now, if he takes, it's still a question how I take back. If he doesn't take. Yeah, maybe just uh, taking. I don't know really. I should play quickly, so not much time to think. And maybe just go for annoying queen trade again. This is never a problem. I can just take his queen. Although his knight would get in there, but still feel like it's all right. Okay, so he does that. Can be annoying again. I think I'm going for that. I 
think he has to trade now. Or let me trade. Yeah, that's possible as well. Because else he was uh, going to lose a pawn. And let's get in here. Maybe this pawn is a weakness at some point. If he attacks my rook, I feel like that's not much of a problem. Don't think I want to go here. That just loses a pawn with a fork. And the discovered attack as well, so that's uh, not something not something I want to do. But I think I should bring this knight back here now. He's still spending a lot of time, which is good. He might have some more annoying stuff like that. Yeah, I should be moving back, I think. <clears throat> now I am attacking this pawn. Because he moved his bishop away, so maybe he doesn't see that. Oh yes, things like this. And maybe he's getting ready to trap my rook. Okay, it goes there. Yeah, now it's a question of can I go for something like this? But I feel like just dropping back is always uh, alright. Ah, oh, he goes for, for a fork now. Yeah, I should be playing quicker, so... That's the thing with playing quickly, you uh, start messing up. <laughs> but I still have some things to play for. But not much. I'm down on time and down material now, so that's uh, tough. Still making him think, so that's all right. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he takes my rook. That would be nice. <clears throat> then it would be in uh, an interesting endgame. Yeah, he doesn't. And I think I should... Keep Brooks on just uh, to try and get some counterplay. He's probably gonna get down there. Although still this pawn is hanging. I still do have some things to play for. This pawn is uh, quite dangerous for him. So let's push it, push it. Now this would be a double attack, but I can defend. And still, he's not playing quickly, so maybe uh, that uh, time at some point is uh, going to be my advantage. His main thoughts is of how to stop this pawn now, probably. Or maybe he's trying to push his own. Yeah. It's definitely a time scramble now. So let's see. I don't know why he's playing so slowly. That might uh, cost him the game at some point. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe I'm winning on time, <laughs> if he keeps playing slowly. Still tricky. 
And he's playing slowly, so... And I won. Oh, this is... <laughs> I don't know why he's playing so slowly, but I... I managed to get above the 2000, so uh, yeah, my uh, my goal is reached. My first goal, obviously, I'm gonna gonna continue. I didn't expect this to happen at all. Definitely uh, went down so much material and so much time, even at some point. Uh, but yeah, this just shows again uh, that you should uh, just keep continue playing, and uh, maybe something uh, something will happen. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm happy to reach 2000. Not really the way I wanted it to happen, but uh, yeah, uh, I take what I can get. So uh, I'm going to be analyzing this game tomorrow. I already know where I messed up. Um, but maybe uh, I missed some other things as well. So uh, I'll see, uh, see you again tomorrow. For now, thank you for watching and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.